everyone welcome back to another video from new york city i'm recording this video on september 15 2022 and right now it's 5 48 pm new york time and i'm just get out from seven train as you can see new york city subway is back with crowd and in this video we will explore midtown manhattan i'm starting this video from grand central terminal and I hope you will enjoy this. My gosh, this skeleton is not working, so I had to walk. It's pretty tough because this station is quite deep. Finally, this one is at least working. So we do not have to walk such a long way. and nowadays everything is very normal in new york city and uh, especially in public transportation system uh, there is no more marks uh, mandatory busy subway vibe hopefully i'll get a chance to get out i think uh, Grand Central Terminal is one of the busiest stations. My gosh, everyone is on rush. So for those who think that New York City uh, subway is very dangerous, you can see it's not. Thousands of people every day commute via New York City subway and other public transportation systems. So if it's bad, then these people really not uh, ride those public transportation It seems like that um, we are getting back to before pandemic. And this is basically the iconic Grand Central Terminal. Everywhere you will look, you will find people. New York, New York, huh? Yep. <laughs> hey. And I feel so happy to see New York City like such busy. people had barely time to stop and talk so that's why sometimes you say that new yorker are rude but they are not as you can see people are always in a rush to go their destination maybe it's work or they're heading to home or any types of meeting so sometimes maybe they are not in a mood but if you ask them politely with due respect then they will definitely reply to you And the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that New York City is totally back and if you want to visit New York City I think this is the perfect time to do so and do not just believe all this bullshit stuff because this is a city of 8 million people so one or two incident nothing really make this city a bad city this is one of the greatest cities so if you had a chance do not waste your chance to visit New York City and especially public transportation system. But yeah, 
I will agree with you guys maybe after midnight sometimes you will see some crazies in a train but at least not in a daytime because nowadays inside subway card you will barely have any space to stand So this is Prising Square. these people are waiting for taxi because there is no line for taxi some sort of shortage for taxi that's why they are waiting here in line no taxi at all usually here you see all the time tons of taxis are waiting but nowadays as you can see shortage of taxis a hot dog stand first impression to New York City for most of you guys this would be a first uh, view or first uh, experience once you get out from the train especially Grand Central Terminal this plaza will welcome you I'm heading toward uh, 5th Avenue and via 5th Avenue we'll head toward Rockefeller Center. This is East 43rd Street and Madison Avenue.
and right now temperature is 72 degree Fahrenheit but it feels very chilly today it start to feel like fog to be honest I think we are six or seven days away from fall usually September 22 is officially first day of fall in New York City Oh wow, look at this statue right here. It seems like it's a statue of a firefighter. From whatever. And I think this year holiday season New York will have record, record amount of tourists for sure without any doubt Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see this busy vibe in New York City, honestly. Since 2019, I haven't seen New York City like such crazy busy. And at least I'm more happy to see more people, I mean, are without masks. As you can see, maybe out of 100, one people will wear a mask. Because New York City lifted masks mandatory. So that's why people are trying to live their life without any hassle. And the good news is the number of incidents, especially the crime, it seems like it's getting very less. So, which is another positive side.
And this time of the year, especially fall and winter, New York City is very expensive for uh, tourists. All the hotel and things are very, very expensive. But still, it doesn't stop people to visit New York City. It seems like even more people love to visit New York City, especially this particular time. And tourism brings New York City a uh, highest number of revenue, so which is very, very good for New York City. Because the more revenue New York City will gather, it would be more facilities for us. I like your horn. He has a very giant horn. It would be very loud. Look at the traffic of Fifth Avenue. This is Saks Fifth Avenue. Can't wait for their light show for this year. Hopefully, they will nail it. Let's cross the street. behind Saks Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick Cathedral, gorgeous cathedral in New York City as well. So this is Rockefeller Center and look at this gorgeous view from here of Cathedral, my gosh. featured these two girls in my Instagram 
if you haven't watched feel free to follow me on my instagram you will find find all the information about these two beautiful girls they are playing violin We have 54 minutes till sunset and I think this is the best time to do some sort of film or videography or any types of tool. water art installation it's been here for a long time always fun to watch as you can see it's pretty colorful And these are the line to go to top of the rock. I mean, top of the rock is one of the best observation deck in New York City. You will get a pretty amazing view, especially during fall and summer when the weather is pretty nice. You should definitely visit top of the rock. Always a long line in this season. OGS Radio City Music Hall. And if you enjoy this video by far, do not forget to hit that like button for me. And if you're new to my channel, kindly consider subscribe for regular updates and video like that from New York City. Wow, fake monks are still here. Try to scam people. I always try to show their face to the world. Usually they are always near Times Square, but look at that, got a huge donation but still they are here asking for more money oh my gosh bunch of dollars yeah, he's busy. see he got bunch of dollars from tourists my gosh they're spreading like a coronavirus stay away from this fake monk they will rip you off guys never ever even touch anything from these fake monks they will rip you off did you see how much dollar he gets from those tourists and still he wants more from the other one crazy these are the things in new york city you have to be very careful and if you're watching my videos regular basis you should know what to avoid and what to do in such situation because i do in-depth tour in my videos and this is Adil's Halal food court. Always a long line for this Halal food. 
Sometimes I think that this food is pretty overrated. It smells good, but yeah, I think it's a bit overrated. It doesn't really hurt the hive for my point of view. I tried a few times, I really don't like it. I even try better halal food cold or halal food than others. That's the truth. But it's not in Manhattan, in Queens. But others become a very hype. Now I'm heading toward Times Square. And feel free to let me know if you had any question regarding New York City travel or visit. I will happy to answer. Feel free to comment below. Maybe some types of private event going on there. Pretty crowded. There is an Indian restaurant called Curry India, oldest Indian restaurant in USA. Wow. Cool. And this is New York Yankees Clubhouse. For all the Yankee fan, this is the place or store you should visit. And especially whenever you will visit Times Square, always uh, watch your surroundings, keep eyes on everything.
and whenever you will cross street like that in between gaps of two car be careful as well sometimes some drivers are a bit crazy and rough This part of the street is full of scaffolding. Taking picture of Pichel, which is fun. So here we are, the heart of New York City, Times Square. <laughs> It seems like some types of protest going on here. Another fake monk. As I say that these fake monks are spread like a coronavirus. So be careful of those people. Here are some types of street performance going on. And again, these performances are not free either. You have to pay them some sort of donation if you wish to pay. Just to be aware, those are not free show. This is George M. Cohen. My gosh, 
you can see how crowded it is. NYPD officers are patrolling as well. It's red light and these cars are never wants to stop. Hey buddy, I watch you all the time. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Wow. Just met a lovely guy. Watch my video all the times, but he was in rush. Another fake monk. Try to convince people. Lots of characters walking around Times Square. Hard Rock Cafe. So I need to take our train. Let's go inside this subway station. Gorgeous 42nd Street. Goodness. Hey. Nowadays, most of the people use their phone. I will use my Apple Watch. Tap again. Go. I was too fast. That's why it not detect for the first time. So this is Times Square subway station, another busiest subway station in New York City.
RW train. I had to follow that sign. I'm going to downtown, so I need to find the downtown one. So this is downtown and Brooklyn. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If so, before you leave, kindly hit that like button for me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribe for regular updates and video like that from New York City. And till then, stay safe, stay positive. I will see you somewhere else with some interesting video. Bye-bye, everyone.